what a land of extremes this channel is. For example, you have an extremely awful hat. No, I was referring to the, the, the difference between having a $500 uh, Dutch bushcraft knives premium uh, bushcrafting blade on one day and then having the humble old bear the next. Why are you dressed as an Amish children's variety show host? Like everyone, Bricky, I shout to emphasize my difference in this world. This show is like Blue's Clues, but the secret answer is always having no friends and feeling bad. So the Antonini Little Bear, Old Bear, this is an old, it's a little knife, but it's called the Old Bear. Uh, this is fairly similar to the Open L number, any number, I suppose. It's a collar locking, traditional wooden handled, thin bladed carbon steel knife. I actually started doing a review on another you know, somewhat interesting knife, the concept lucky star and i was using this uh, in comparison to that knife showing how good a thin blade can slice because spoiler alert a, a thicker shorter or at least not so tall blade doesn't slice so well so i got the the little old the little old bear uh, out and uh thought i'd do some comparative potato cutting and as you'd expect, this blew most other knives away with food prep. These little, anyone who's had an open L will know, these little knives are amazing at food prep because geometry cuts. So you get a very basic package here. I think I paid about $18 in Australia for this little knife. You get some nondescript wood. I think it might be like a walnut. You get a little brass collar, a little steel uh, locking tab, which I'll show you how it works in a minute. And you get a carbon steel blade. I'm thinking the carbon steel is something like the C75 carbon steel that you get in an open L. I did an edge test on this guy here. I put a 15 degree per side edge on it and it cut about a hundred times through the twisted sisal rope. Um, yeah, it's not a edge retaining beast at the apex, but as I said, the geometry will cut a lot longer than the absolute edge will. It's a very thin piece of steel, ground very nicely and very thinly and it will certainly push through most things even once the, the absolute edge is long gone. This is a great knife to give to a younger person, so someone perhaps has turned 10 and you want to give them their first knife. It's a knife that can both lock open and closed, so you can be sure they're not going to use it you know, without purpose. They have to actually think to open it and close it rather than just, you know, there's a certain formality that pulling a lever and then opening your blade sort of instills in you. It makes you sort of have to do a couple of extra steps and not just be mindlessly flipping. And that's when a lot of these sort of accidents can happen. You know, I think we've all snapped shut a Victorinox on ourselves. Uh, and you know, that's a, it's a bite that we can all remember from our first perhaps Swiss army knife, the, uh, the slip joint takes no prisoners. Whereas a blade like this much more considered to open. And it is a fairly strong little opening mechanism as well, a locking mechanism. The contouring of the walnut handle does make for a fairly comfortable grip. Of course, there is no guard, so that may be something that you want to think about if you're giving this to a small child, or at least give them a rough rundown of how not to use a knife. You're not going to be stabbing anything with this tiny little blade uh, anyway, but it's certainly a great little first wood crafting, wood slicing, sandwich preparing. I'm a big kid now with my own knife kind of knife, so that's the sort of role that I'm going to be putting this one into. I gave my daughter a an open L outdoor knife, um, like the child type knife. It's got a whistle in the back. That one. I think I'm going to give this one to my son, who's um, you know, a little bit older, uh, so it's kind of a little bit less garishly childish looking. But uh, yeah, it's still definitely a very good first piece nonetheless. Look, I don't have a great deal else to say about this guy here. Um, apart from that, yep, for the price, it's a very good little buy. It's nice. It's an Italian-made knife coming from Italy. You can see in the process here that they probably rattle these off pretty quickly. You know, the groove isn't completely level, and there's a few little odd knocks and bumps here and there. But as I said, uh, it's a quality product even still. and It's, uh, it's just a really well-executed little idea. You don't need to have your tolerances super tight when you're doing like a basic wood-grooved channeled knife and sort of, you know, the nice, I guess, clumsy pin pivot compared, uh, combined with the, uh, this, the brass collar. It's, it's a very forgiving pattern, so they sort of can just sort of churn these out pretty quickly and to still pretty good effect. So that's the Antonini Old Bear. 
Uh, that's about all I've got for you today. Just a little one here. Um, maybe you like to sit around late at night and think, I want to buy a knife, but I don't want to spend more than $50, $100. This is a good thing to start looking into. Just a little one to scratch that capitalistic itch of, of buying something new whilst getting yourself a quality product that might be a little bit different to the other stuff you currently have as well. So, so. there we go. That's the video. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Thank you.